Game of Thrones fans will be happy to know that the dire wolf dogs featured in the show are making their first Canadian appearance. The first Canadian-born litter of northern Inuit dogs were born in Niagara Falls last month. Simone Gavros has more on these Canadiana pups. Seven little puppies are the first Canadian litter of northern Inuit dogs here in Niagara Falls. We were expecting five, but we ended up with seven puppies. You'll likely recognize these pups as the dire wolves from the show Game of Thrones, which is what prompted Michelle Atkinson to add one to the family. Summer actually came from Scotland, and the breeder that we got Summer from was the breeder who supplied Ghost, the dog that they used in the Game of Thrones. So all of our puppies are actually relatives of the dog from Game of Thrones. Atkinson says the Northern Inuit dog is fairly rare, and the dog society that they're a part of has branches all over the world. There's actually nine uh, breeders within our association. Um, they are in the United Kingdom, in Switzerland. Uh, we have a new one in Germany that's expecting another litter uh, very soon. And then, of course, we're here in Canada. The family adopted mom Willow during the pandemic, and after a lengthy three and a half year process, they welcomed the puppies last month, complete with names that represent the best of Canadian culture. Our little guy is True North Gretzky, and then the girls are um, Snow and Maple. Uh, we have Ginger Ale, Timbit, and Celine. And then the last one is Poutine. Despite their wolf-like appearance, Atkinson says these dogs are loyal, calm, loving pack-like dogs, and make the perfect addition to the family. So little Maple on my lap here is expected to be about 55 to 65 pounds fully grown, along with her other sisters. And her brother over here, Gretzky, who's sleeping, is expected to be about 90 to 110 pounds when he's fully grown. Atkinson says that she hopes these dogs will be recognized by kennel clubs worldwide, but as of right now, that's not the case. In order for a dog breed to be recognized by the Canadian Kennel Club, they have to be recognized usually in their country of origin. In this case, that's the UK. Ian Lynch says a standard for the dog would have to be created. That's essentially a blueprint for what the dog should look like. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of time, and a lot of people have to be very, very dedicated to the breed. And then, of course, our Canadian Kennel Club board members have to decide whether or not this dog goes from being unrecognized purebred dog to a listed breed. And Atkinson says that the dogs are currently enrolled in a program that keeps them engaged and stimula stimulated to help with their quality of life. And this is all in preparation for when they go to their forever homes at the age of 10 to 12 weeks old.